All right, so it's always nice to maiden and successfully fly your A plane, but it's never a bad thing to step back to maybe your B plane, maybe the, the trainer plane. So I've been really enjoying flying the Pandora, the free wing Pandora, great trainer plane. You can configure it, uh, high wing, low wing, uh, tail dragger and tricycle gear. I started in high wing tricycle. I moved to low wing and uh, man, I am just loving it. Low wing with the tricycle, excellent way to go. Uh, guys, never be afraid to step back to your trainer and work on landings and work on pinching techniques, work on whatever you need to work on. You don't always have to fly the jets, you know, or your brand new plane, you know, all the time. Get get used to things a little bit more um, and step back to your trainer. I don't think any RC pilot is beyond their trainer plane. So today we're going to take it up. We got some kind of gusty crosswind conditions today. I uh, got the gyro on on this bad boy. You can hear it. I uh, just made a couple adjustments to turn down the gyro just a little bit. Things were a little bit sensitive. Uh, so let's go take it up in the air and see what we got. I'm gonna move the Bronco into the shade. Two great flights on her today. But, you know, I like to start the day sometimes to knock off the rust with the trainer. And then I like to end the day sometimes by taking up the trainer again. Get five and a half minutes off of 2200. Looks like winds are laid down at the moment, so this will be nice. Okay, checking controls. Up, up, down, down. Left, left, right, right. Flaps. Okay, power. Always do your final checks. We'll do one more when we get over here. I'm just gonna take off, fly the pattern, and uh, try to work through some nice, easy approaches. Wind sock is pretty much laid down. If anything, blowing pretty much downwind. No flaps for this plane for takeoff. Up, up, down, left, right. Rudder, left, right. All right, let's go flying. Just get it rolling, and then slowly advance that throttle to full. And that was barely any up elevator. This plane just likes to lift off. All right, so I'm just gonna move it into the pattern, just lightly keeping that nose up. Don't wanna pull it up too much. Okay, I'm gonna back off the throttle, about three quarters power. Stay out over here, I'm on the downwind. Looking good, looking stable. Got a little bit of a wind coming up my side of my face. It's okay. I'm gonna chop it. Okay, just let it come down, turning to final. There's final. Let's see if we can take a touch and go. Just a little bit of power. Ooh, nice. There we go. Advance the throttle. And we're off again. Nice touch and go, turn back into the downwind, nice and easy. Okay, I'm gonna do the figure eight with one notch of flaps. This is the other way I like to land is come across, especially with this crosswind, kind of blows in a favorable condition to try this. I'm gonna chop the power. A little high, it's okay. It's a Pandora, you can chop it, drop it, pushing the nose down, pushing the nose down, advancing a little bit of power, pulling the nose back up, pulling the nose back up. Where do I want to land it? Where do I want to land it? It's just hanging nicely. Ooh, kiss the ground. Let's go again. Okay, flaps up. Turning to downwind again. That was good. That was a nice smooth one. A little bit of wind coming down the runway. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of wind. Just a nice breath will help slow your plane down, keep you stable. I'm gonna do just the same thing again. Turning, going full flaps on this one. Full flaps, I need to stay in the power. Full flaps and force that nose down. There we go. This is looking beautiful. A little bit of power. Ooh, a little bounce. 
advanced power and let's go flaps up so there we go that was some good touch and goes let's keep it out over this area now we're gonna do a little freestyling the Pandora is actually quite maneuverable uh, the roll rate is really quite satisfying for a trainer plane so let's see I'll try to get it right down in front of us getting some speed up Whee! look at that roll for a loop here, get a little momentum, push that nose down. Just a happy, fun flying plane. Let's see about a, another touch and go, shall we? Chopping it. Oh, we got that wind kicking up. It's okay, Pandora can take some wind. All that power. Bringing it over the field, a little gusty. Keep the nose down. And then flare. There we go, I like that. Take back off. Flaps up. Like I said before, we get about five and a half minutes off just a simple 2200 3S. Ooh, we're rushing this one a little bit, it's okay. Just settles in so nicely. Ooh, a little kiss. Oh, the infamous bounce. And let's go flying again. Flaps up. She gets a little gusty up there. I think the aileron gyro pot correction, I turned it down a little bit. It was wagging. It seems a lot better. It was just correcting itself a little too much. Let's bring her down and around. See if I can do a touch and go with no flaps and maybe hang the nose. I got calm conditions. Feels like we've been around five minutes or so. Oh, I don't think the timer started. We'll go ahead and land her. Bringing her around, flaps one. Got a little bit of wind kicking up, flaps two. Wind's pushing me, keep the nose facing, advance the throttle. Just hover it, where do I want to touch down? Let's stay. Little late, 
A little wind vane in there, it's okay. We'll take it. And there you have it, just a nice, lazy Saturday afternoon flight with the tried and true Freewing Pandora. Never be afraid to take your trainer up. Keep working on those landing skills. Never take a bad landing.